Yo, what is up guys? Now in today's video, we're gonna that spider web though. Guys, the cameraman just got hit in the face with a spider web. Yeah, I don't know where it came from. Oh no, it's on the camera too. Um, let's uh redo that intro. Yo, what is up guys and welcome back to another video. Now guys, in today's video, we're gonna be smashing. Wait a minute, cameraman, did we forget to buy something to smash again? Yeah, I think we did. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. I can't believe we forgot again. You know what? We're gonna have to head to the store like we did a couple videos ago to go buy something to smash so yeah i guess we're gonna have to go ahead and head over there oh and also guys we're not gonna be recording with this camera at the store instead we're gonna be recording on our ipod i know the quality is not as good but i think it'll be just fine we don't want to be carrying around our huge camera around the store and uh yeah i still hope that you guys enjoy it and let's go ahead and head over there right now Parkour! Parkour! All right, so I just want to warn you guys real quick. The audio on the iPod is pretty quiet. So you guys might have a little bit of a hard time hearing what's going on. So I'm going to put subtitles up on the screen just in case if you guys are having troubles hearing what I'm saying. But the good thing is it does not last for very long. But anyways, I'm going to let you guys finish this video. I hope that you guys enjoy it. All right, we're in the car now. Let's head over there. Quick in the accelerator. All right, we have now arrived. One hour later. Yo, I totally think we should smash this. Let's do it. All right, so we just picked up the jug thing that we're going to be smashing. Let's do this. We're heading back to the house right now. Just warning you guys real quick. Things are about to get loud again. All right, guys, we are now back and we got this water jug. Um, Let's go ahead and open it up. It has like this plastic on the lid. Uh. Get off of there. Yes. We got the cap off. Let's try smashing this. Yeah, that did absolutely nothing. No, break. Ow, my foot. You know what? We're going to fill this thing up with water real quick. Let's do it. Totally going straight into the jug. Why you always lying? Oh, let me do some stretches real quick so I don't pull any of my muscles. Perfect form. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Here goes nothing. Oh, oh my god. Oh, I got it. All right, now that there's water inside of it, we're gonna try smashing it. Let's do this. I'm going to smash it in the trampoline. That one random ginger versus random jug. Let the fight begin. You better watch out, man. Oh! 12 seconds later. Ah! Leave a comment down below right now who you think won that battle. Two hours later. No, seriously, what is up, guys? And welcome back to another video. Now, guys, I'm sure you already know what we're going to be doing in today's video because of the title. So, yeah, that's right, guys. Today, we're going to be opening up Winnie the Pooh. Oh, snap. If you guys don't remember, in our last video, we actually captured him. If you guys have not seen that video yet, then I highly recommend you guys go watch that one before you guys watch us opening him up. I'll put the link in the description down below. But I asked you guys on YouTube in my community post how you guys think we can open up who. And you guys had some pretty interesting ways you guys thought I could open him up. So let's go ahead and try some of them. Also, guys, super quick, I saw some comments where people were scared that I was going to hurt Pooh. But don't worry, guys, if we cut him over. Open, then we can always sew him back together and he'll be just fine. So the first comment is from XLRA EX Pro. And he said, use a chainsaw. That sounds kind of brutal, but let me go grab one real quick. I think this is too brutal. Uh, we're not gonna use a chainsaw. Let's find another comment. Genesis Mahakanos. I don't think I pronounced your name right, but he said, do a milk and say, oh, and stab the milk. So wait, does this guy want me to get some milk and like stab it? I guess we'll have to go back to the store for you guys really quick to get milk because obviously this guy wants me to like bust it open with a knife. And that has nothing to do with opening up Winnie the Pooh, but let's go do that real quick. A few moments later. Boom! 
moment. Now, if you guys are wondering why we did not get milk, it's because, you know, milk is like really expensive and stuff. And we don't want to put that good money to waste since we're just going to be busting this open anyways. So let's go ahead and bust this open. I'm doing this one for you, Genesis. Now, guys, I got this machete right here. Never use a machete at home. They are very dangerous. And you can actually like really hurt yourself. Three, two, one. Look at that. So Ozen McRaichen said, I like your video. I think he meant to say video. So uh, thank you. I'm so glad that you enjoy the video. And if you guys enjoy the videos as well, then please go smash the thumbs up button because we do a bunch of crazy stuff on this channel. Octavio Albiter says, let the cameraman smash it. Okay, so I guess he wants the cameraman to try opening up Winnie the Pooh. Do you want to try it, cameraman? I'll give it a shot. All right, so I guess it is now officially random up stuff's channel for like five seconds so here you go try getting him to open up i guess i'm gonna hop on the van and throw on the shed and it'll fall down yeah i'm in my good old sandals i hope i don't slip they ask you how you are you just have to say that you're fine dude that was pretty intense i did not expect you to do that let's see if we opened him doesn't look like he opened it. Uh. So Don Archbold says, throw him in the pond like you did with Dave the Minion. So if you guys don't remember, I opened up Dave the Minion after we had captured him as well. And I threw him in the pond and then I actually ripped him open while I was on a floaty. And I don't know because he was wet or whatever, it made it easier to rip. Come back here. Open up. <laughs> Yeah, I guess we're gonna try opening up Winnie the Pooh the same way we did with Dave the Minion. So let's go ahead and do that. Hmm. Guys, I think I'm gonna take a different approach this time. Instead of using the mattress that we used with Dave the Minion, we're gonna use our pool. Now, guys, the swimming pool has lost some air. We probably should air it up, but um, who has time for that? So we're just gonna go ahead and jump in the pond anyways, even though it doesn't have that much air in it. Cameraman, take the electronics. That pro catch though. Let's get this out in the pond. Let's head out there. All right guys, so I know I'm jumping in the pond to try opening up Winnie the Pooh, but also our last video got over 2,000 likes. So you know what that means? I have to jump in the pond anyway. So let's go ahead and do this and see if we can open up Winnie the Pooh. I just gotta take my shoes off real quick. All right, guys, I'm gonna jump out there on the pool and try opening up Winnie the Pooh. Let's do this. I'm gonna spring off the trampoline onto it. Three, two, one. Ah! <laughs> Open up Winnie the Pooh. Oh, uh, yeah. He's now opened up, look! Oh my god. I'm coming back in! Later. Ah! We got the back of him opened up. Now let's see. Wait a minute, guys, what's this? Look at this, guys, there is something in him. Oh yeah! Oh yeah. Let's set him down real quick. All right, here's what was inside of him. Just a normal piece of paper. It looks like it has some stuff on it. Oh my gosh. Guys, it's like really wet and it wants to tear apart. What? Is that Tigger? Wait a minute. Look, guys. Right there, there's a T. And then over here are the rest of the letters. And it says Tigger. So it says Tigger right there in big, bold letters. And then right here it says Tigger will save me. So I'm guessing that Winnie Pooh is saying that Tigger will literally come and like save him and take him from us because we captured him. So wait, guys, let me know what you think about this in the comments down below. I'm almost wondering if we should just give Pooh back because obviously Pooh is like really nice and stuff. But should we just let let him go before Tigger tries to get him back? Or should we keep him? That way maybe we can spot Tigger in real life. Let me know in the comments down below. But guys, I guess that's it for now. We already opened him up. But of course, I'm going to jump in the pond one more time for you guys. Another one. And there's going to be some random videos up on the screen right now. You guys should click on them. If you guys enjoyed this video, then you'll probably enjoy those videos as well. Anyways, we'll see you guys next time. Peace out. <laughs> I need somebody help. Push the floaty out to me, please. Sorry, man, I can't reach you. I'm just gonna have to leave you out here.
this. I got this. Yes. You guys next time on another video with that one random ginger. Peace.